colors. This is so cute. This is dangerous. <gasps> they have the reindeer peanut. Chicago we're in the hotel room um, it's pretty much five o'clock on Friday because I was actually still working throughout the first day of this trip so I actually just finished up I'm closing out for the day and I'm about to do like a little Peloton shadow boxing workout before I meet the rest of the crew for tonight <laughs> whatever we're doing tonight I think we're gonna try and go to a food hall or something but um, they're currently getting dumplings and I'm just gonna kind of chill for a little bit until they get back because I'm not hungry yet, but I am with some mar marathon runners, so they eat a lot. <laughs> so they're gonna be hungry again for dinner. But yeah, they went on a run and stuff today and I kind of just chilled. I was really lucky that a lot of food places near us serve good stuff. So I got like a bagel sandwich for breakfast and a pumpkin spice latte. And then I walked and got a Chicago hot dog. And then tonight we're gonna get whatever we end up getting. But yeah, we are in Chicago and I'm excited to share with you guys this vlog. Hello guys, it's Saturday. We hit up the South Loop Farmer's Market and got some coffee. And then we headed to, we're like around DePaul University. And we found a costume shop called Chicago Costumes. And it was so cool in there. And they had a bunch of vintage stuff too. So we picked up a few things there. And now we're headed to a comic book store and then maybe some thrift stores. trying a hazelnut mint latte from Vigo Coffee and it's so good but it's been a minute since I had a whole milk latte so it's so good though and we happened upon a brunch fest so I'm gonna show you guys
stuff. Two and a half hours. Tables have come and gone. We'll see. Oh, yeah. 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 from Chicago. I just wanted to show you what I did pick up from the trip and then give you guys a little like feedback slash tips on Chicago. So the only thing that I picked up was a jelly cat at the jelly cat store the first day. And it's this little Christmas guy. He's so cute. So his name is the Bashful Winter Puppy and he was $32. He's so adorable. I would have gotten both a Halloween and a Christmas one. But I mean, 30 bucks is kind of a lot for this little guy. So I just got one and he's really, really cute. And I feel like he can last all winter with his little scarf too. I can keep him out on the bed all winter long. So I just really liked him. And it was actually really nice to have something to cuddle with um, while we were in Chicago. I just, I really like sleeping with a stuffy. So he's so cute. That's the only thing that I picked up literally. Um, honestly, I'm, I was watching back the footage and I should have picked up one of those Chicago sweatshirts. They were so cute, but I don't need any more sweatshirts and I don't need any more t-shirts. So I really didn't pick up any like souvenir items or anything. Ryan did, however, pick up, um, some Chicago marathon souvenir items, um, like shirts and a pullover. So those were really cool. Yeah. If you're going to go to run the marathon or spectate for the marathon, I have a couple tips. Um, one being definitely take the L, take the train wherever you can and try to find like places you can cut through to get to the next like viewing spot. Because I was talking with some people once it was already like past the halfway point and a couple people that were spectating for people like they live here, they were like, oh yeah, you can cut through here to go through there, especially like from Chinatown to another point we could cut through. So that was pretty good. You could just cut through by walking like less than a mile. Um, and you can also take the train, but I would definitely recommend trying to see them as early as you can, whoever you're looking for, um, as early in the marathon as you can, because once it got to maybe like 10 o'clock, it got really, really crazy busy on the train and people were stuffed in there like sardines. So right around like 10 30, um, we couldn't really even take the train anymore. So that would be like my biggest piece of advice is definitely see them early, definitely take the train to go see them. And once it hits like the 10, 30, 11 point, probably don't plan on going on the train. It's just way too crowded. Ryan had a great time. He did have a little bit of complications near the end of the marathon, but he was able to finish. So we're really proud of him for that. Um, thank you guys for all of your sweet comments that you've been leaving over the past month, me talking about him going. Um, he really appreciates it and we really appreciate it. And yeah, we had a great time in Chicago. I really do love that city. 
Um, for food, I would definitely recommend, honestly, for the battle of deep dish pizza, we had Pequod's and we also had Lou Malnati's. Um, we had both of those. And I know there's so many more deep dish pizza places to try and like pizza pie places and all that kind of stuff, but we just were able to try two. I have to say, even though Pequod's took three hours to get our pizza because they lost our order, and didn't realize it until we asked them two hours in, hey, where's our pizza? Um, then we finally got it, but it was so good. So it was kind of worth it. I don't wanna say it was worth it because nothing is worth waiting for three hours, but it was really good. So definitely go to Pequod's. You can get a reservation, but even if you get a reservation, it takes like an hour, 45 minutes to an hour to even bake a deep dish pizza. So you're gonna be sitting there waiting for 45 minutes to an hour for your deep dish pizza, just so you know. So yeah, and the service was terrible, <laughs> but the pizza was so good. And then I was on a trip with a lot of foodies. So we did hit up two like pretty nice restaurants. We hit up Perilla Steakhouse, Korean Steakhouse. It was a Korean barbecue place. Um, the service was amazing. The drinks were amazing. The food was really great. It was pricey though. I will give you that. And it was kind of just like standard K barbecue, which being like a Houstonian, we have our own Chinatown, which has Korean, Chinese, Japanese food. It has every Asian food you can think of. It has Filipino food. It has Hawaiian food. Anything you can think of, it has it. So it's not like we're missing out on K barbecue when we went back home. Um, so it was still good though. If you like Korean barbecue, it was definitely like a, a good experience. And then we also went to the Publican, which is like a chop house, they say. And everything there was delicious. It's all shareable plates for the table. And that's what we did. It was, everything we had was so good. I swear if Ryan and I went back, we could probably eat as much as the entire table eat ate, just the two of us, just trying everything. Everything we had was absolutely amazing. It was so good, but everything we had was so delicious. So highly recommend the Publican and you're willing to try stuff. Definitely try the Publican. It was a little more pricey, but really, really good if you're a foodie. We also tried um, like Italian sandwiches. We went to Al's, um, which is just like your classic dipped beef sandwich, which sounds like so funny to me, not being from there, like not knowing what that was at all. It was pretty good. Like, I feel like that would be like a standard lunch that I would get if I worked in an office in downtown Chicago would be like a dipped beef sandwich. It was really good. So definitely recommend checking out uh, Italian sandwiches when you're there because that's like kind of what Chicago is known for. They have a huge Italian population. That's everything that I have to say from the Chicago trip. We had a great time. I love that city. We'll definitely be back. And if I missed anything that you enjoy and love in Chicago, let me know down below in the comments and I'll be sure to put it on our itinerary for next time. We'll definitely be back. But yeah, that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.